So I haven't talked about this much, but the way that I got my start in the gaming press, and I really use the term start loosely, uh, was I was part of a weekly video game related talk show that aired on AM radio here every week. Uh, it was myself. It was the owner of a local video game store chain. His name was Guy. He ran a chain called Fantasy Realms. I've talked about it on the channel before. And it was a uh, mutual friend of ours, Ron. So the three of us would sit in the studio every week and we would talk video games. It was the coolest thing. Uh, we were there for, I think it was a two-hour show is what we did. And I would do news breaks every 15 minutes. And I would talk about news stories that were big in the industry at the time. And then three of us would just round table about games that had just come out or games that were coming out or trends that we thought were interesting going forward, like video game violence and such. Uh, it was a blast to do those shows. I really miss doing it. Unfortunately, in order for us to be on the air, this wasn't something that the radio station hired us to do. It was something that the video game store owner paid money to the radio station. Basically, it was paid airtime. It was a paid commercial, more or less. But we didn't treat it as such. We treated it as a legitimate radio talk show and it was a lot of fun to do in 2000 uh during our time doing the game show uh guy and ron went to e3 i was very jealous unfortunately i didn't have the money at the time to go so the two of them went and i interviewed them from the studio they were in uh they were at the show and we talked a bit about what they saw of course the playstation 2 in 2000 was big at e3 it was just about ready to hit united states shores it was certainly very exciting so I remember asking Guy what he thought the coolest game at the show was, and he told me that it was this guy right here, uh, Dynasty Warriors 2, which unfortunately I just have the disc only. I don't have it complete, and that kind of sucks. Um, in talking about the game, he told me that it was you against a thousand soldiers, and it was just mowing them down left and right. And I was hooked on the idea. Now, unfortunately, I forgot about the game when I got my PlayStation 2 in early 2001. I didn't get the game until sometime later. But once I did play the game, Guy was right. It was a game that I knew I was going to like because it, it felt like you were taking on insurmountable odds. And that kind of thing, plus the beat-em-up, uh, not quite mindless, but it certainly doesn't take a ton of uh, a ton of skill to play, at least on the easier levels. Uh, you do have to manage the battlefield. You need to make sure that you're achieving the objectives before uh, before the enemy does. It's, it's a fun game to play. It's a very divisive series online. Uh, there are some people that really love Dynasty Warriors. Uh, Jim Sterling, for example, who's uh, big on Twitter and, uh, and on YouTube, uh, he is one of the biggest uh, supporters of Dynasty Warriors games. Uh, and I love the games myself. So, of course, after that, I had to go and get the games as much as I could. Here's Dynasty Warriors 3 right here, which to me is the best game in the series. I absolutely love this game, uh, and I go back to it every so often. I wish they would remake this game, or at least uh, in the next Dynasty Warriors game, go back to some of the things that were introduced here. But yes, there's more. Oh yes, there are certainly more. Uh, Dynasty Warriors 4, which is this guy right here, uh, is another game that I go back to every now and again when I have some time. Uh, Dynasty Warriors 6, which is also for the Xbox 360 and PS3, uh, but I have the PS2 version here. And then, of course, Dynasty Warriors 8, Complete Edition, the uh, Extreme Legends Complete Edition. This I play all the time. Uh, this game has everything that I enjoy, uh, especially the the Stronghold mode where you're trying to build up your Stronghold and going, uh, going on certain mini-missions in order to uh, earn gold and earn materials to make it better. Uh, this game, to me, is a lot of fun. Uh, unfortunately, there was no Dynasty Warrior 7 for the PS4 and Xbox One, and with my 360 now being uh, history, I don't have that game. So I'm missing one, aren't I? No, I'm not talking about Dynasty Warriors 9. That <laughs> We do not have to talk about Dynasty Warriors 9 here. Uh, but we are going to unseal the game that's missing. And that is Dynasty Warriors 5. Uh, Dynasty Warriors 5, I found this on eBay. It was a fairly decent price. It turns out that the new copies of this game don't go for exorbitant amounts. I don't know why that is. I haven't played 5 all that much, so I don't understand why it kind of lags behind. But still, looking at the back of the case, it seems like something that at least I know I would enjoy. Uh, meet the largest cast of Dynasty Warriors ever assembled, 48 playable characters and all. 
Master a supreme arsenal of new weapons and attacks, including the new Musou Rage and the blazing nine-hit evolution combo. I mean, come on, that sounds like fun. 38 completely redesigned maps and the ex most expansive battlefields ever? Come on. Test your strategic skills in combat with the enhanced battlefield base system. I want to try that. That sounds interesting. Experience a new, a unique storyline for every character in Musou mode and discover new bodyguards, items, challenges, and much more. Uh, so this, I mean, this is the one that I didn't have in my library. Uh, I had it for a time. Unfortunately, the disc that I got, I got it used when uh, GameStop was blowing out their PS2 stuff, was not in good shape and was constantly skipping. So, I got lucky. Not only am I upgrading to a complete in-box copy, but I'm upgrading to a disc that I know is going to work. So, we're going to go ahead and open this up. First of all, I do want to show you, like I always do, that this does have the security label on the top, so we know that it's brand new. This is sealed. So, we'll go ahead and we will try and get to it. Unfortunately, this is sealed really well. Uh, there we go. I am pulling it. Okay. So, as usual, we come in front of the camera. Now hold this up so you can see. Come on. Oh, oh boy. Here we go. I think a little bit. And yes, there we go. Boy, this takes too long. I really need to invest in a in like a like an opener so this doesn't take too long. But I do have it so I can slide that off just like that. So put that in the trash. There we go. And we'll go ahead and we'll remove the security seal. try and keep it on there this time there we go so we'll peel that back and we'll go ahead and we'll open it up we'll make sure that this doesn't fall out and there we go that's what it looks like on the inside so we have the disc and we have the manual and the manual is pretty big so we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna take that out and the manual is wow the manual is 44 pages large uh, and it is in complete color, by the way, which is something by this time that wasn't all that common. This is uh, 2005. So this is pretty late in the PlayStation 2's uh, lifespan. This was right on the doorstep of the Xbox 360 coming out. Uh, there is a warranty card, which is right there. And we'll go ahead and we'll take a look at that warranty card together. Uh Let's see. Please fill in the appropriate space using a number two pencil or black ballpoint pen. So apparently this is an SAT. Uh, gender, male, female, age, under 12, 12 to 14, 15 to 19, 20 to 24, 25 to 29, 30 to 34, 35 and up, which sadly that is me. Is this your first Koai game? No, it is not. What motivated you to purchase this, this game? Uh, magazine ad, magazine article, saw it in a store, recommended by salesperson, recommended by friend, Koei fan. Like action games, like Dynasty Warriors series, the Koei website, web article, newspaper article, played a demo, food chain promotion. I don't remember any of those. Commercial in Times Square. Okay. Uh, or other. How would you rate this product on content, graphics, sound control, game speed, manual, package design, voice acting, story, text, and overall? There are five ratings for each of those categories from great, good, average, fair, and poor. Uh, my favorite question, which magazines do you read regularly? Uh, EGM, Game Informer, Game Pro, Tips and Tricks. Boy, I missed Tips and Tricks. That was a cool magazine. Play, OPM, which is the official PlayStation magazine. Uh, I talked about that in the pilot episode of Repeat, which you can also catch on the channel. Uh, PS Extreme 2, I'm guessing. PSM, OXM, which is the official Xbox monthly magazine, I think. Uh, Nintendo Power, New Type USA, and America, or Other. And finally, which website do you visit regularly? So now, because we're in 2005, the internet is pretty much pervasive. It's everywhere. Uh, so we have IGN.com, GameSpy.com. Boy, remember GameSpy? Uh, GameSpot.com, still kicking. OneUp.com, miss you guys. UGO.com, that's Ultimate Gaming Online, right? And then other. So those are the questions. You could send it in. Uh, please give us your comments. You could write that right on the front of the card. Uh, so you could write your comments, and you could talk about what games you'd like to see from Omega Force in the future. Uh, this is just, to me, this is a cool find. I know that this series is really divisive. There are some people that consider it a mindless uh, 
x x x square x x square or I'm sorry it's it's square square triangle square triangle square 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 triangle just a mutton mashing game but there is some strategy involved especially if you're taking on commanders and you do have to pay attention to the shifting conditions on the battlefield because there are certain objectives that need to be accomplished and if you're too late uh, that ends the mission and you have to start over so there is some strategy involved there's a lot of action I'm a big fan of the music it is guitar driven and if you know me you know I like that guitar rock stuff so uh, this game adds up to something that I really really, really enjoy. Uh, there's also a Dynasty Warriors 5 Extreme Legends. I have the Extreme Legends discs, by the way. I just, uh, I didn't have this. I needed to replace it. Um, unfortunately, Dynasty Warriors 9, I promised I wouldn't talk about it, but I'm just going to say my piece really quick. Uh, Dynasty Warriors 9 going open world was something that I was really disappointed with. Uh, the performance, the technical performance just isn't that good. I'm thinking about possibly giving the game a shot on my Xbox One X to see if there's any better performance, but I kind of doubt that that's going to be the case. Uh, but I'm excited for uh, Warriors Orochi Ultimate. I think this the next one is four. Uh, I'm definitely excited for that, uh, as Omega Force said, that are getting back to basics, and that's something that I'm really excited to see. Uh, but I'm a big fan of this series. It's really cool to have one of these that I was able to open up on camera, and I'm looking forward to checking it out once I finish up uh, my book writing duties later this week and into July. So if you've played Dynasty Warriors before, I'd love to hear what you think of the series. Do you like it? Do you hate it? Do you own any of the games? Uh, please talk to me about it in the comments. I'd love to hear from you. If you like this video, go ahead and give it a thumbs up. That would be really cool. Uh, if not, thumbs down. I totally get it. Uh, though hopefully I won't see too many of those, but uh, we'll go from there. Uh, in terms of future content, uh, look for more uh, uh, Unsealed stuff as we go through the month of July. Uh, I may have to backdate some of it as we have a heat wave coming this way, but we'll see. Do have a ton of games to get through, and I have a couple of more coming in the mail uh, this week that are going to highlight a series that I'm looking forward to covering. Uh, and I've been looking forward to talking about this series for a long time, so I hope you join me for those. Thanks for checking out this episode of Unsealed. I really do appreciate it. Until the next time, my friends, see ya.